Hi, and welcome to the Corel Paint Shop Pro X4 KPT Filter Collection Tutorial Number 3. We're set up here in Corel Paint Shop Pro X4. We've selected a photograph, we've duplicated it, and we're getting ready to mask it. And I'll take a selection, a circle, and position out the circle. If you want to move the selection area in a non-destructive way, simply right click and reposition your choice. I'm going to invert this. Now this area will be applied uh, the filter mask that we're going to use, which is going to be Plugins KPT Collection Blur. I already have a blur set up. This is the default. Uh, somehow you could change that. And right here is the blur effect that I want. You will notice one thing that the blur here, the mask does not appear in the blur. And we're just going to set down. You can do all sorts of other things. You could take camera optics blur, uh, high speed blur is what I've got. And uh, we are going to apply this. You have several presets you could do. And uh, you can come up to the um, PDF uh, help file and get more information. But it takes a few seconds to apply this. And it applied it to our mask. And there's our original selection. And there's our applied mask. So you could do this to vignette all sorts of things, change the colors. And we've got about three minutes per each one of these filters. So I guess that is the look at the blur filter. We'll go into the um, fiber optics and try and do a very short one of those and also get to the uh, lens flare. So get ready to do fiber optics. The KPT filter fiber optics is supposed to be able to create rain or hair. We have selected a photograph here and we're going to select a freehand selection and design a mask to apply this filter. There's our mask, and we want it direct, so we can go into Effects, Plugin, KPT Filter, and we'll go up to Fiber Optics. I already have a, a Fiber Optics thing set up here, so our little mask will appear here. Here's our mask is appearing in this panel. We have a lighting window, and we can change the lighting conditions and uh, see how those uh, affect the uh, filter. And we want to try and get those where they're uh, somewhat reasonable. Okay, now we could have noise, we can have fiber control, we can make the fibers really smooth, uh, less dense, or we can make them really dense. And we can do something with the color, and we can click back that. We have a control, sort of a recall panel on each one of these uh, uh, panels, recall buttons on each one of these panels. So that is our um, – 
and we go back and it takes just a few 30 seconds to uh, get the filter to working and apply it to our photograph. And there we go. We can do a control D and then probably go over to the smudge tool and lighten it out a little bit or smudge it in. Push, smudge, and this way you can put some hair on Uncle Charlie's picture and he'll appreciate it I'm sure a little cheaper than the uh, uh, conventional method of uh, growing hair but you can just do all you want to and you can play with that and probably figure out how to do it and maybe you can do a tutorial on how to use this great filter now we'll go on and explore the uh, lens flare, which is a really great filter, and I'm going to use it a lot because I think it's a real good filter. And here we are with the lens flare filter. We start out by selecting a photograph that I took down near San Gregorio. And I don't know how people use a camera without really having something like Corel paint shop pro to uh, improve it because these horrible lines were in my picture I was able to uh, take those lines out and create a fairly decent photograph but it still lacked something I thought and I didn't know what until I've got the um, KPT collection and let's go into effects plugins and go up to the um, down to the lens flare connection and it's got a general streaks reflection glow halo and I've already selected from the presets this um, one filter here double clicked on it and applied it to the um, photograph and I can uh, change the color reflection and all but I think it really look uh, makes the picture look an awfully lot better and I want to reposition it I simply put the cursor on it and can reposition it and I think it gives the photograph a lot more vertical balance and that's going to be applied to the photograph it takes a few seconds to kick in and there is the finished photograph but I think it really adds something to it and that lens flare filter is going to be very, very valuable to me. I hope this gives you a bit of an insight as to what you can do with um, the uh, lens flare and the other two filters we've explored today. We'll see you in tutorial number four.